Good day, I'm Tim, and today I'm gonna to show you how I charge my Bike Tricks Juggernaut Ultra Beast 2 with my EcoFlow Delta Mini Power Bank. As of right now, it says it has 35% battery power left, so I need to charge 65% of the battery. This is the EcoFlow Delta Mini, and you can see it's 100% charged. You can see that I have the battery cable plugged into the side jack on the Ultra Beast 2. And there's the battery charger over to the EcoFlow. I'm gonna flip on the switch here. And then I'm gonna hit the charge button on the back. What you'll see here is that the Beast is drawing 288 watts of output, which is about three hours of time left. And so we're just gonna see exactly how much the Beast will charge up from the Delta Mini. In the front, the Delta Mini has one USB-C port, two USB-A ports, and a fast charging USB port. And in the back, it has five AC ports and a DC port, as well as a couple of 3A standard adapter ports. Time for a quick EcoFlow Delta Mini battery check. It's been an hour, 69% left in the charge, two hours left. As you can see, it's still running and plugged in to the beast. As you can see, it's a 73%. So it went from 35% to 73% in one hour of charge using the EcoFlow Delta Mini. I'm gonna show you my EcoFlow Delta Mini and how I charge it up in the sun. It has about 8% charge. So this is the EcoFlow 160 watt solar panel in its case. And I already have the charging cable connected to it because I've obviously used it several times before. I've connected these hooks to the awning of my house. And as the sun comes up, it crosses the sky this direction here and causes this to be in the full sun. So you can see right now the sun's starting to hit the solar panel. So now we're gonna hook it to the power bank and get it going. I do have a second 110 watt solar panel that I eventually will connect in line, but I have to wait for an MC4 cable to show up so I can connect them together. This little lid here is where all the charging accessories plug in. So you can see it's got the three prong standard AC outlet adapter plug. And this is where the solar panel will plug in. Another thing to note with the Delta Mini is that you can see right here, it's actually picking up a Wi-Fi signal from my house. So I can actually monitor the usage remotely from an app on my phone. Okay, so checking on the Ultra Beast 2's battery charge, you can see here that it is up to 100%. So the EcoFlow Delta Mini charged this from 35% to 100% in just about two hours and 45 minutes. I'm very happy with that. I think it's gonna work for what I wanted to do. Okay, so charging up the Bike Tricks Juggernaut Ultra Beast 2 with my EcoFlow Delta Mini from 35% to 100% in about two hours and 45 minutes is pretty good. I'm happy with that result. Pretty simple math tells me that the EcoFlow Delta Mini isn't powerful enough to fully charge the Beast if the Beast batteries are completely depleted. But I'm pretty sure that if I connected the EcoFlow in line with the solar panels while charging the Beast, it would give me the power that I needed to charge the Beast if it was completely depleted. So if I'm camping and I find a place where I don't have electricity but I have sun, I think the EcoFlow would do a fine job. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, please be sure to give us a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe on your way out and we'll see you on the next one.